Hey, hello everyone. My name is Carlos and I'm happy to be here. Hopefully you had a really good week at school and now you're ready to learn about Jesus. How have you been? What if we pray to start? Okay, close your eyes right where you are and, and let's talk to Jesus. Jesus, thank you very much because you're good. You're good all the time. Please stay with us today and help us to learn a lot and have fun together. Right. So doing that, now, are you ready to sing? Are you ready to worship God? Let's do it together. Come on. Hopefully you did as well, a lot of jumping and a lot of singing, and Jesus is always listening to you. Right, so it's time for the lesson. We've been learning about um, all the miracles that Jesus had done. Well, not all of them, but some of them. We learned about Jesus fed the crowd. You remember that one? We learned about when Jesus calmed the storms again. So that's, you know, amazing. Today we're going to be learning about another miracle that Jesus actually did. And today we're going to be learning about when Jesus walked on water. How cool that is. Okay, are you curious about it? Do you want to see it? Okay, let's pay attention. Jesus had been teaching crowds of people by the Sea of Galilee. It was getting late, so he told his disciples to get into the boat and go to the other side of the sea. Jesus sent the crowds away and went up on the mountain to pray by himself. That evening, 
The boat was far from the shore. The wind blew and the waves tossed the boat around. Jesus was still on the mountain alone. Around three in the morning, Jesus came toward his disciples walking on the sea. When the disciples saw Jesus, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they cried. Right away, Jesus spoke to them, have courage, it's me, do not be afraid. Peter answered, Lord, if it really is you, tell me to come to you on the water. So Jesus said, come. Peter got out of the boat and started walking on the water toward Jesus. But when Peter saw how strongly the wind was blowing, he was afraid. Peter began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus reached out his hand and grabbed Peter. Jesus said, you have little faith. Why do you doubt? They got into the boat and the wind stopped. Then everyone in the boat worshiped Jesus and said, truly, you are the son of God. Jesus proved that he can be trusted. His miracles, teaching, death, and resurrection show that he is who he says he is. Only Jesus can save us when we look to him in faith. Hi, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. We've got some questions for you now. And I thought perhaps we could do it a little bit differently. The first one, I want you to act out. And when I say freeze, you freeze. Okay. Now, if it's the right answer, we'll nod our heads. And if it's the wrong answer, we'll nod them that way. Okay. Right. The first question is, what did Jesus tell the disciples to do while he went to pray? Did he tell his disciples to have a dance? Da, 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 da. Are you dancing? Da, da, da. Freeze! What's the answer? That's right, no. Did he tell them to jump up and down? Are you ready to jump up and down? Here we go. Is that the right answer? No. Did he tell them to climb a mountain? Let's see how good you are at climbing mountains. Freeze! Did he? No. Did he tell them to row a boat? across to the other side of the lake. Yes or no? You're right, he did. Well done. Now the next question, I want you to pull some faces for me or make some faces. The first face is Hide your face behind your hand. And when I go one, two, three, I want you to show me a happy face. All right, that was a practice. Good. The question is, in the middle of the night, who did disciples see? How did they look? Remember, they thought it was a ghost. Right, here we go. Did they, one, two, three, have a happy face? Did they, one, two, three, have a sad face? Are you pulling faces too? Did they have a scared face? <gasps> they did because they didn't know. Who was it coming across the water? Can you shout so the whole world can hear his name? 
One, two, three. Jesus! That's right. I wonder if your neighbours heard that. Well, they saw Jesus coming across the water. And they were excited. Can you show me an excited face? Mmm, very good. Well, I can't see your faces, so what I'm going to ask you to do is to pull a funny face and maybe afterwards you can get your mum and dad or carer to take a picture of you pulling a funny face and send it to us. Are you ready? One, two, three. Funny faces! Three! Well, they were well excited at seeing Jesus. <gasps> Wowee! Now, what was Jesus doing? I want you to copy me. Was he playing football? Oh, I don't know whether you can see my foot. Here we go. I've got a, I've got a pretend football here. Was he playing football? Yes or no? No, he wasn't playing football, was he? Was he swimming? Yes or no? No, he was doing something very clever that the disciples had never seen. He was walking on the water. <gasps> Amazing! Who wanted to walk on the water? Which disciple was so excited? He says, that's cool. Wow, I want to do that. Well, was it, was it S-Jam or Air Pet? I've jumbled them up. Older ones will be able to get this. Was it James? Or Peter. That's right. It was Peter, wasn't it? So he wanted to walk, so he stepped out of the boat and he looked at Jesus and he kept walking towards Jesus. But then he suddenly realised what he was doing. He was walking on water and he looked down and he took his eyes off Jesus and he started to sink, didn't he? And he cried out to Jesus. And Jesus held out his hand and rescued him and saved him. Wow, that could be the same for us. Sometimes when we find things really difficult and we think, oh no, we can call out help to Jesus and he will hold out his hand and rescue us. I think that's so amazing. So, who saved Peter when he started to sink? Let the whole world hear the biggest shout. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus! Very good. So my last question is, why did Jesus perform miracles? Does anybody know? Why did he perform miracles? That's correct. To show us that he is the son of God. Well done. So remember, if you keep looking at Jesus, even when things are difficult and you feel you're sinking, if you keep looking at Jesus, and call out, help Jesus, he'll hold out his hand and he will keep you safe. Great to see you all. I want to see those funny faces. So take, get mum, dad or carer to take a picture and send them in. See you again soon, bye. Hi everyone. That was great, Jocelyn, thank you so much. 
um, we're going to have a go at making a craft to, to show us about this story of Jesus walking on the water. And um, the idea is that we're going to get a piece of ideally black paper, but if you don't have black paper, don't worry, it doesn't have to be black. And we're going to get some other coloured paper if you've got that. If you don't have coloured paper, you could maybe find some old magazines or colour some, some paper. And we're going to make a, a scene, a picture using, this is our background, and then we're going to tear up and make some rip and tear waves. So I'm going to have a go now. I'm going to tear it to try and make some jaggedy waves. Let's have a look. Something like that. Do you think those look like waves? Yeah, they're all right. So I'm going to glue those on like that. And then I think to make it look even more, even cooler, I'm going to get some blue as well and maybe do slightly smaller waves for this one to stick on the top. And then let's have a look. So if I, if I put those together, I think that looks quite cool, doesn't it? I'm going to have a go at sticking them on in a minute. And then I'm going to use, I could also use some tissue paper. And then I'm going to use some lollipop sticks to make a boat. And I'm going to also cut out a boat shape. So I thought for my boat, I'll make a semicircle with my paper. Let me have a go at that. If I cut out a semicircle, so you a semicircle like that, and then I thought I'd get some lollipop sticks to make a boat. So I'm going to stick all that down, and I'll show you what I end up with. Okay? Okay. So this is my finished picture. I hope you like it. So I've stuck on my waves that I um, tore up, I've stuck on my semicircle, and I've stuck on some craft sticks. And then I just put a few bits of tissue paper to make it look even more like waves. But use your imaginations. Your picture does not need to look like mine. You make your own scene, your own picture of a boat on the choppy waves where Jesus walked on the water. Okay, and I look forward to seeing your pictures. Do send them in to us. And any, any photos you send in, we promise that we'll show them uh, in next week's video. Bye. Hey, excellent. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, making the craft with Becky. Thank you, Becky. And uh, just make sure you send us all the photos. We want to see your craft. Now, it's game time. You know, and I know you're very observant. So I got a special game for you guys today. The game is called Guess What Animal I Am. Okay, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about what I'm going to show you later on. So... I'm going to show you some pictures, okay, uh, it's a part of the animal, it's not the whole animal, it's just one part of the animal, and you need to guess which animal it is. I'm going to give you 15 seconds per animal, okay, so you need to run now, bring a piece of paper and a pencil, and you can draw the animal, or just write it down if you can write, okay, and you need to send me all the answers back. Okay, so 15 seconds per animal is nine animals. Be careful because there is one that is really prickly. Are you ready? Let's start now.
hope you enjoyed the game and you actually managed to find all the animals. Some of them were really tricky, were they? Well, if you haven't, re-watch the video and make sure you send me all your answers. I'm going to be, you know, checking all the answers. Mm. So, make sure you do it. I'm going to be waiting for it. Now, last week, some people were um, working in the craft and they sent me some photos. So, I'm going to give a shout out to all of them. Okay, I got my assistant here. That we actually have matching outfits uh, to help me with the photos. So, the first one is... Bethia and Joshua. Bethia and Joshua. Well done, guys. They did a fantastic fish, and obviously they show him fantastic smiles as well. So well done, you two. The next one is, we do have Zoe. Well done, Zoe. That's a fantastic little fish there. Well done, Zoe. Beautiful. Who else we got here? Oh, we got Elisa Bertrand. Well done, Elisa. <laughs> Beautiful, colorful fish as well. Well done, Liz. And we've got another one as well. We do have Libby. Well done, Libby. Beautiful fish. Beautiful little fish as well. Excellent work. And this week we have a very special surprise. Can you believe? Two friends all the way from New Zealand. Elsie and Macy. They were watching as well and they were building the little fish. So New Zealand, well done Elsie and Macy. All the way from there. That's been fantastic. So please do your craft, send us the send us your photos and send me the answers of the game as well. Okay, I'm going to be checking on them. So before we go, uh, my assistant here is going to help me with two pieces of paper. We do have some materials that you can download after the video and you can work with them. Okay, some activities for the for the big ones and some activities for the <coughs> for the little ones. So you can ask your parent to download this and print them and you can have, a, have some fun afterwards. So, did you have fun today? Yeah. Was it good? Did you enjoy the game? Yeah. Did you enjoy the worship? Yeah. Excellent. So, that's it for today. See you next Sunday.